Hi there, and welcome back to Wonder Wednesday. I'm Amanda, um, and if you've been following this video series, then you know that each episode of Wonder Wednesday is designed to help you use Wonderopolis to engage kids in remote learning. Um, and if you're joining us for the first time, welcome. Um, and we hope that you can take a minute um, after this video to check out some other episodes of Wonder Wednesday for even more ideas um, for using Wonderopolis at home. Um, so at wonderopolis.org, um, we love to answer questions from curious kids all over the world. And each episode of Wonder Wednesday has been a short dive into some of our most popular wonders and features of the Wonderopolis website. I thought today um, would be a great time to look at a few examples of wonders that are uh, especially well suited um, for extending learning beyond screen time. Um, for many of us, the weather is starting to get warmer and the end of school is almost here. Um, and so we know that many families are looking for more hands-on learning um, and ways that they can learn together outdoors. So today, we are going to look at a few wonders that can inspire activities like those. So the first wonder that we are going to look at is number 235, how are annuals and perennials different? So this wonder goes into why some flowers have to be replanted every year while others come back on their own. Um, and this would be a great place to start for a hands-on learning activity um, like planting a garden or even just going for a walk together and pointing out different types of plants in your neighborhood. Um, we all know that kids are much more likely to learn when they talk about new ideas that they've just uh, read about. So any conversations that you can have with them about plants and flowers after reading this wonder will really help reinforce what they learned. Another great wonder for hands-on learning um, is number 894, can food be art? So this wonder can inspire a lot of fun educational activities at home. And they can vary um, from simply talking with your child about the shapes and colors of their food at snack time to actually working together to turn a meal into a work of art. Um, so definitely take a look at the try it out activities at the end of this wonder for even more ideas. Um, and one final wonder that I thought we should take a look at is number 1861, uh, what happens when you mix vinegar and baking soda? Kids can learn a lot in this wonder about a few different scientific concepts um, and they can extend that learning with the help of an adult um, by doing their own experiment with vinegar and baking soda after reading. Uh, so this is a really fun hands-on learning activity. Um, and the try it out section, again, also has detailed instructions for carrying, um, for carrying out that experiment if you haven't tried it before. Um, of course, many of the other wonders on our site can become extended learning activities, but that's all we have time for in this video. Um, if you've used another wonder as an inspiration for hands-on learning, we would love to hear about it. Please reach out to us on social media to share your ideas um, and to ask any questions. We're here to support you, so please don't hesitate to contact us. Um, we'll see you next week. Bye, everybody.